Hey folks, and welcome to Start Building Me. Hopefully that works now. Finally, training session to get you up off the couch and into exercise. If you've never trained before, you're coming back after hiatus like an injury. Um, or you just uh, haven't really been into it that whole your life and you don't understand how important it is, folks. You have to exercise. Exercise is mandatory. Google do I have to exercise and watch a thousand billion results come and tell you you do. Folks, you don't want to end up having a chronic illness in hospital. So many deathbed confessions. People say, I wish I hadn't spent so much time working. I wish I'd spent more time with family and I wish I looked after my health better. You can look after your health. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple. And that's why I am here because I am simple, folks. <laughs> uh, I wish I was kidding. I am actually very simple and I have found that exercise has improved the quality of my life because it reduces my anxiety, reduces my blood pressure. My dog is losing his mind, has increased the ability that I can perform well in sports, helps me recovery, helps me go and throttle that Kelpie. Sorry, he's not a Kelpie. He's a healer cross Amstaff hybrid. I'm not going to throttle him. He's my good little man. Nonetheless, folks, we're going to be doing some exercise over the next 20 minutes. If you're interested, like and subscribe always to all my viewers. Thanks very much for sending me uh, well wishes and messages. Whether you're here live or not, it doesn't matter to me. In fact, my whole point is to try and get you off engagement, trying to wean you off these systems like Twitch, Facebook, like all these systems that I'm using. You know, I, I don't want people to waste their lives in front of their computers watching other people play video games. So I'll start jump in the house. Good to see you. My whole point is that engagement is a waste of your life, basically, folks. You're not going to learn that much. And here, like I'm saying, I'm going to show you some basic stuff which will hopefully inspire you to get away from the screen uh, after you've got some basics like... I'm Mother Duck here, you know, trying to show you how to get out of the house, try to upgrade yourself, improve your life. That's a very important part. As I said, your health is something that you don't care about until you don't have it, until something goes wrong. And then guess what, folks? You will most definitely care about it. It has happened to me. It's happened to Sal Starjump, who's live with me now. When something goes wrong, you uh, start to really notice how important your health is. So don't be one of those people who thinks, hey, I'm invincible because guess what? You are not. You're not the Robocop. You're not the Terminator. I'm into that indeed. Hallelujah. Let's start exercising our walk and talk and continue with my rhetoric as I go along because folks, as I said, exercise is mandatory. You think you might be able to fly under the radar. You're not. And then the only person that looks like a dumbass is you. So... I'm going to see these shorts are quite tight, so I might reattach my mic receiver to the back of my shorts so it doesn't keep clipping. Let's see how that goes. So far, so good. What's that, folks? It's an exercise. It's also known as a squat, a bodyweight squat, since, you know, we don't have a barbell, kettlebells, anything like that. We are doing something that you do every day, which is sitting down, standing up, on the edge of a chair, the edge of your bed, whatever it is, it is one of the most, if not the most important compound movement. Something that I talk about on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. Like and subscribe as always. If you want to be hassled by me incessantly about exercise and the benefits of it, folks. Man, it's such a strange thing to have to explain to people how important it is. And don't feel bad if you're young and you're like, oh, I didn't know I need to do that. I speak to people in their 60s and 70s who it didn't occur to them that they could have vastly improved their life and the functionality of their body and biochemistry by doing simple stuff like this. So I'm going to try and get a few of these out, sitting back into my heels, weight going to the outside of my feet. Even this exercise is my ulterior motive to get blood pumping. I haven't had much time to work out this week. Had a late finish. I need to go down the gym, need to go to the rock climbing gym, but I have guests this weekend, so I've got to do some stuff for guests, which is my whole point, folks, like diet and exercise. You just want to make sure that you can 
stay as consistent as possible for those interim times where you're not going to be able to make it so don't beat up yourself if you you know have a a burger or something like that or don't beat yourself up if you miss the training session because if you're more or less consistent with your exercise it doesn't matter if you miss out from time to time it's what a lot of people don't get they'll miss a gym session and then they'll be like well i miss one and may, may as well miss another one and it keeps on going that way and all of a sudden they haven't trained in several years so don't be that person but i'm going to make sure you're not if you come here and like me now all i'm doing shaking myself out is that even on wide yes it is it's a good start ankles a little bit sore i've just been doing some annoying english and math unbelievable unbelievable the english they're making me do I can can barely talk anymore i'm going back into the stone age and they're trying to get me to put punctuation into sentences they're like there's something missing here i'm like is it <laughs> what <laughs> one two three four five and shake it out again get our heart rate up get our blood rate pump blah, blah, blah. blood rate pumping resting heart rate that's not important to me What's my current heart rate? That is what I'm interested in. 94, there you go. That's definitely up off baseline and that's what we're trying to do, folks. Very, very simple. People are often asking. They think that there's some magic trick, some elixir, something that they can do, just some gotcha. Oh, that's all you had to do. And kind of that's true, but you have to do it, which is why I love the Nike slogan. Just do it. Because, folks, you have to do it. You have to exercise. If you don't, use your joints. Orthopedic surgeons are the people who deal specifically with joints, with bones, stuff like that. The people who I used to look at the data for hospitals who were getting stuff replaced were not the people mostly who were using their joints. Ironically, it's the people who don't use their joints end up having bad joints and have to get them replaced. So a lot of myths exist in the data health or the healthcare industry that you know wear and tear on your body comes from using it it's actually not true if you use your body it will stop it will continue working basically one two three four five and shake it off i've been doing this all day so i don't really need to do a whole bunch of them nonetheless seven minutes 50 on the clock and i've spoken for a few minutes so i'm going to do a few more Dogs are happy to see me. Always good to see them. They didn't tear up anything. But there was a pair of my boxer shorts in the middle of the living room. I'm not sure what was going on there. Maybe just sniffing my pants of dirty little lads. But they hadn't chewed them to shreds, which was a nice little difference for them. Dinner was served for me, which was 90 grams of protein, one banana... 50 grams or 50 mils, which works out being roughly the same, of MCT being uh, extra virgin coconut oil, psyllium husk, and water, folks. That is what we call a healthy dinner. Most people cannot do it. I urge you to tinker with your diet, folks. It's not all about having to eat processed foods. Helps me sleep better as well. Ah, and breathe. For the time being, it's still free. But not for long, folks, and I'm not even kidding. It won't be long until they figure out how they can charge us for air. I saw, what was it? I was watching something, I think, with my niece where somebody was charging people for air and making a fortune from it. And I thought, maybe this is a business that I can get into, folks. Because if you can charge people for pretty much everything else under the sun, maybe I can charge people for air, make a business out of it, make millions of dollars. The Lorax, that was it. Dr. Seuss. You get an itchy shoulder. I don't know. How can you get an itchy shoulder? How does that make sense? Ah, probably laying on the grass. That'll do it. 
Almost 10 minutes on the clock folks, just going to bust out a few more squats and then do some push-ups and call it quits, go have a shower, finish doing some annoying remedial English and math because for Australia to do TAFE certifications, having a pre-existing university degree is an adequate proof of your literacy folks. This is the country we live in, the nonsensical, overly bureaucratic country of Australia, where you can have gone to university for multiple years. You could be a doctor, and unless you're in the same state, you cannot use your high, high school qualifications, you cannot use your university degree. You have to go and waste time doing questions that you can barely remember because you haven't been at middle level school in my case, for multiple decades. <laughs> and so when somebody asks you something, you're thinking there's got to be more to that question because you've been a professional for 20 years and you're like, it can't be so simple. Yet it is. So in the end, it just becomes this circle. Uh, let's keep it PC, not PC, rather PG. That's what I'm working for. Um, you're just basically wasting a whole lot of time, folks, and time as a trader, I can tell you, is the only thing that matters in life and what we have equally little of. That's why I should walk and talk. Let's bust out a few more squats. I'm going to do some push-ups, then get out of here. I am going to have a shower. I smell like multiple dogs. Maybe that's why I'm itching. Disgusting, folks. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it on to the downstairs cam. Get some push-ups out of the way. And get on to whatever you're doing now, folks. Obviously, I'm doing some very basic exercises that I can explain online. There's a whole bunch of different exercises you can do. Doesn't have to be what I'm doing here. My whole point at Start Building Me is to try and stay, say that this is how easy it is. This is the most fundamental form, including walking. Once you can do this, you can move off to maybe playing a team sport, joining a club, um, going to the gym, learning how to run, learning how to swim, whatever it is you want to do, it is something that's easily attainable, folks. And by that, I mean even a monkey can do this stuff, folks. My dog's exercise. My dogs are barking at the neighbors. So anyway, let's do some push-ups. You can do them off your knees if you cannot do them strictly and it, you know just doing them like that off your knees is still a push-up listen to that dog Look, listen to him go okay i can see dale's shadow under the door so now i know not to just barge the door open else the big black's gonna get slammed anyway i may as well do some push-ups myself because i can tell you now i'm not gonna go to the gym I'm far too tired. Bit of a quad stretch. The quadriceps are these muscles. There's four bands. That's why they are called quadriceps. And you can just stretch them by leaning on the back a little bit. Get the blood pumping through. Little grr, little er, little er in the house. Always in the house. And thankfully not destroying the house. As we all know, Big Black would be the person that would be destroying the house because uh, he's fancy and he's been very good. And I know for a fact that my underpants in the middle of the living room would have been big black. There's no question about that. Diamond Lady Dale, the first. But when you see the circular tails at the door and Keith backing up to you with his butt shaking, you can't be mad. Yeah, well, I've been hiding my shoes. Yeah, unlike you, as Sanity 2 made the mistake of leaving her slides or thongs somewhere within a shot of Big Black. And Big Black thought that they were an offering from her and decided to destroy them. They did that as well to my $350 Oakley sunglasses, folks. Were they left on the floor? No, they were in their carry case up on the table and Dale just decided that he could pull on the cord, 
figure out how to open them up, which was amazing in itself. The only reason I knew that there were sunglasses in the end is because I found the lenses almost chewed up. The whole frames were destroyed. And Diamond Dale spent the night in his crate that night without any anger from me at all. Straight to the crate, straight to the hole, like prison. They know when they've done something wrong, folks. And that was probably the only time he's ever been there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Getting a bit of a workout for me as well, folks. Like I said, I have no time for the gym. I am doing TAFE math and English. If there was only somebody I could bribe, folks. Of course, I'm joking. Not really, but yeah, kind of. It would be great. Maybe I should find one of those school tutors or something. <sighs> Going to do 10 more push-ups and get out of here, folks. I'm going to go get some, uh, what is it called? Some of that anti, anti-allergy stuff. Or, oh, folks, you know, maybe have a shower. <laughs> Sorry, I know yawning's contagious, but it's that time for me. I am a dust collecting old neo boomer, folks. Son of boomer. I like to go to bed early, usually in bed eight eight thirty. Yesterday, sleep on the floor, spoon in a dog at eight o'clock, folks. That's what it's like to be at middle life. To all you kids watching. Thinking, oh, I'm going to be in the club every night, man. Every night for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's what I used to think as well. Four nights. Four nights a week I was clubbing, folks. Now, no way. Will I ever go to a club ever again? Never. You'd have to chloroform me and drag me by the ankles to go to a club, folks. Yeah, yeah, party. All the people enjoy that. Stay away from me clubs and the club i'm gonna go to is a, a leagues club for a chicken dinner <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> uh, all the crazy witty things that i think of saying folks but i can't say them because i've dedicated myself now to a G or PG channel to try and keep it more inclusive. I want more people to exercise, but my banter is from the gutter, folks. This is just how, not even how I was raised. This is just the filthy minded individual that I, excuse me, but I am. Uh. <laughs> Five more push-ups and I'm out of here. As my proof of concept also is, folks, it can be a short workout as long as you're consistent. I mean, I've been working all day, so I've done enough exercise and enough lifting. I hope you have as well, but if you haven't and you do 15, 20 minutes here, that's a good start. One more minute on the clock. Can I squeeze out 10 more push-ups? Of course I can. Do I want to? No. Kicking and screaming, folks, always, and it can happen to me as well. Should have gone to the gym today. Did I? No. Sometimes you just don't want to, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the more you consistent you are, the more time you can take off. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go and get out of here. Spread your fingers, tense your butt. To keep yourself stable, look up and breathe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like and subscribe as always, wherever you are in the world, folks. I love you.
don't be engaged to social media, even if it means not watching me. I don't care. Get outside, walk, enjoy your life. It's better outside than inside. I guarantee it. Have a good night.